Brooklyn Independent Television. Textile Art Center was founded in June of 2009. We teach everything related to textiles at all, you know, whether you're looking, you're interested in fashion or fine arts uh, or just as a hobby, so screen printing, knitting, sewing, uh, crochet, dyeing, um, weaving, machine knitting, anything you can think of really. In New York City, there was no place that gave a community center with classes and the facilities and resources that you need, unless you were going to a place of higher education, such as FIT, Parsons, Pratt. Uh, so we wanted to democratize that. So for adults, we have uh, four-week classes as well as um, more intensive classes on the weekends. Um, for kids, we also have a summer camp and we have an after-school program. For artists in general, but specifically for them, we do an artist residency program. Now we're going to go into our artist residency area. Uh, so attached to the gallery space uh, using this sliding door. Uh, then you enter into the artist residency area and we house six artists here for six months. And this artist in particular has been with us for a while now. She was in our first group and has continued on to the second cycle that we have now. Her name is Julia Ramsey and she's a knitwear designer, um, but also takes the approach of fine art. Uh, her work is She's very, very technically talented and she pushes this much further within her medium. So we have a very diverse group of artists this round. Uh, we have architects who are working in felting and applique and we have screen printers and we have weavers and uh, costume designers who are then working on taking old clothes and turning them into new things. So uh, we have a wide variety of people, all local, but all fiber artists and that's pretty much the connecting thread. Um, another program that we offer for both artists and our general audience is our gallery program. The initial idea there was to have the art in the same place that the students are. So the learning and the art are in the same place. The idea behind the Yield exhibition is that the sustainable fashion world is a growing place. It's definitely something that is up and coming in the fashion industry um, and very necessary. There's many different ways in which you can approach sustainability and one of them is through zero waste. Another way is how you use the clothing, it's how, how it's cut, how many different ways can you wear it. Uh, one of the pieces in the Yield exhibition that I find particularly interesting is the piece by Tara St. James of Study New York um, and the piece here um, is called the four-way jacket and it was made in 2010. Uh, this is part of one of her first collections which was all based on squares. So it's called the square project um, and as it was coming down the runway each, each piece itself was made out of more and more squares. So the first one was one square, two, three, four, on and on. So this was part of that collection uh, and as you can see there are buttons that go around and this is one thing, one, one aspect of it is that you can wear it in different ways. You can connect buttons and any formation that you want to. Um, the other part of it that you can see on this panel here, which shows the yardage and how it's used, is that it's all made up of squares and rectangles. Here's another great example um, from the show, which I mentioned earlier. This is uh, by Natalie Channon of Alabama, Alabama Channon. Um, she is not necessarily a zero waste designer. She wouldn't always necessarily uh, classify herself as that, but she does manage to use all the scrap fabric. So in this, if you get close up in here, you could see all the intricate stitching. Um, the scarf that is also put on there is made from the waist, and over here you can see examples of the different kinds of yarn and all the different products that can be made from the scrap. Um, even looking at the panel that's below that shows the yardage that is used, you can see here that none of this fits together as a puzzle, just like the other pieces, but you can tell that all of these scrap pieces are then turned into something else. Follow us on Twitter at BK Independent TV.